Freddie, what disciplines do you play on? Do you play with cocks or hens? Um, with the, the old birds, I play only with the hens. Only with the hens, with the old pigeons, And yeah. the youngsters, they, the cocks and the hens are raised. Cocks and the hens with youngsters. With yeah. youngsters. Yeah. And when will your season start with the young pigeons? Uh, with the young pigeons, uh, now we can clock electronic. Uh, it starts in June. June. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the old pigeons when start, will they start? in April. April. Yeah. And when? How? How many races will they have to uh, go away? Uh, the old ones. Uh, 14, 15. 14, 15 flights, and the young pigeons? Uh, 11, 12, yeah. 13. Uh, do you play on the uh, short distance, middle distance? Um, mostly uh, middle distance and uh, the four to 600 kilometers flight. Four to 600 kilometers yeah. middle distance, right. This is your loft. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very beautiful, it's uh, white plastic, yeah? Yeah, yeah. we uh, build it our own. You built it yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you're a school teacher by profession, you're not yeah. a carpenter. <laughs> not a carpenter, but with a lot of help from my friends, I have built it. I stopped one year with playing with the pigeons, pigeons yeah. for building the loft. Yeah, because I read a, an article in former times you were just a young bird specialist. Yeah. Yeah? You played totally with the young pigeons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it a big decision to build a new loft? Because uh, when you're playing successful on the top, a lot of fanciers don't want to change the loft. Um, you changed the loft and you was playing very well. Yeah, but it was necessarily because uh, I played uh, in the loft by my mother's house. Ah, yeah. So when we built a new house, I wanted the loft in, in loft. my own in garden. garden. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the loft then, please, Freddy? Um, here we have the young birds loft. It's yeah. 12 meters by four meters. Yeah. And the hens are at the back. Yeah, the hens are over the back. Yeah. yeah. And on the front side, this is for the breeding pigeons. Yeah, yeah? The, the breeding pigeons. Yeah. Yeah. And how many breeding pigeons do you... Uh, uh, now there are 25 couples. 25 couples, yeah. yeah. But when I played only with youngsters, I had 50 to 60 breeding couples. Yeah. And the origin of your family of pigeons, uh, I read Years back, it went back to the old Menk Halterman yep. pigeons. Yeah? It's still that, and I bring in the pigeons of the Rau Sablon from Lebeke and from several fanciers here in the in the neighbourhood. In yeah. the neighbourhood, yeah. Because yeah. your brother's also a fancier. Yeah. Yeah, and your father was a fancier. Yep. And I also understand your mother helps you. She also. helps me a lot of, yeah. Yeah, yep. a lot when you uh, when I school. am at school. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I can do the thing with the youngsters when they are in the darkness. Yeah. Uh, she let them out around the clock of three, three o'clock, and uh, when I come home, I can let them in. So yeah. they are in the darkness from 18 hours in yeah. the evening until 7, 7.30 7 in the morning. 7.30 in the morning, yeah. All the uh, pigeons enter the loft through uh, Sputnik traps yep. and so on, yeah. These have been adapted to take the electronic clocking system, yep. yeah? And the clocking system you're using, uh, which system do you use? This is Bricon. Bricon, you yep. use Bricon system, yeah. Okay then, so we'll go and have a look inside yep. the loft, yeah? No problem. Yeah. Your young bird loft, Freddie, uh, reminds me very much of uh, the loft of Ad Scarlakens when I was there. He emphasises young pigeon loft must be very cosy. And this young pigeon loft is very cosy. You have boxes everywhere. Yeah, yep. Wherever there's a space, there's a box yep. somewhere for them to nest. Uh, in former times, you only played with young pigeons. Uh, he was one of Belgium's feared specialists, shall we say. Yep. Several times they dope tested you, and several times. Yep. Every time you was clear. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
When will these young pigeons first come into this loft? Uh, in the beginning of January. Beginning of January, yeah. So the breeders, the Quakers, they're coupled uh, November, yep. end of November. First pigeons in here, end of January, yep. yeah. And will you add youngsters to those? Will there be a first round, a second There's round? A first round from the breeders' loft. Yeah. Then you have a section for the hens, the youngsters of the hens. And then afterwards, the section for uh, the second round from the breeders. From the breeders, yeah. And they're all in different areas to start with. Yeah. 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 Um, young pigeons. We use the darkness system with the young pigeons because yep. even the winter bred pigeons, they even then, yeah, even then, yeah. yeah. So I start with it, uh, let's say, in February. Yeah. yeah. So just tell us how you operate your young pigeons from when they first come into the loft. They get uh, food uh, breeding. Yeah, breeding mixture. Yeah. Breeding mix. Uh, they don't get any treatment. No medication. No left. medication. No nothing against uh, trichomonas. The first time they get trichomonas is uh, when they are uh, five, six weeks old, and yeah. directly after that, uh, I let uh, inject them against yeah, for paramyx the paramyxovirus. Yeah, paramyxovirus. Yeah. Paramyx yeah. 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 So five or six weeks old. Yeah. Get a cure as for soon as possible. Yeah. They get that. And then the paramyx over yeah. and vaccination. Two, three weeks afterwards, uh, they were are vaccinated against uh, pocken. Pox, yeah. Yeah, yeah pox. you do them for pox, yeah. 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 You use the vaccine for pox, do you, as opposed to yeah. the old uh, pock away? Yeah. 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 Put them some feathers and, I, uh, and then they receive nothing. You don't, uh, the darkness system, you said you use the darkness system. Uh, obviously, January and early February, the days are still daylight hours are very short anyway. When you put them on the darkness system, uh, uh, begin of uh, end of February, begin of March. End of February, think, beginning yeah. of March, yeah. And what time do you make the loft dark? And what uh, time do you make the loft light? Eighteen o'clock in the evening. Yeah. And again, light seven seven thirty in the morning. Yeah. So it's thirteen and a half hours yeah. in the dark. Yeah. And obviously the rest. Yeah. Uh, in but the light. it isn't quite dark it's they can see the the feet the feeding, and the yeah. drinks drinkers yeah so it's not totally blacked yeah. off yeah. yeah yeah and when do, will you run all the young pigeons together because at this moment it's now uh, middle of august and all three compartments are open all the birds are together they're coupled yeah. When will you open the doors? And when let they all are the birds flying, the, uh, when the last ones are flying, good. Good. Yeah. yeah. When you say flying good, what do you call flying good? When they fly for one hour, two yeah. hours? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. When they fly for one hour, but flying then, not making tours around the loft. No. They must go away for for 20, 25 and a half hour. Coming yeah. back, going back again, away for five, ten minutes. Yeah. That's flying good for That's me. That's flying good. And yeah. then they have uh, experience and then they can come together. Otherwise, yeah. you lose too many pigeons from the second breed. Yeah. Uh, and when is that? What time of, you know, is... Uh, beginning of May. Beginning of May, May they're flying yeah. well. Yeah. And uh, will you give them any training with the core at all? Well. Afterwards, when they are together, I train them with my car. Yeah. And what distances? Uh, I started on two kilometers, uh, five kilometers, ten, and the last time I took them is uh, twenty kilometers. Two kilometers. You start as short as two yeah. kilometers. A very you, short distance. A very short distance. Some fanciers in England will say, "That's crazy. You know, it's so close to home. Uh, you can lose them like this." But your experience is uh, not. Uh, I try to climatization. Yeah, climatize them. Yeah, to the basket. Yeah. So that's the reason why I do the short distance. The short distance. Uh, I do it only at the one time at two kilometers, four kilometers, five kilometers. I do it two times, three times. 10 kilometers also two, three times, and then the 20 kilometers also two, three, four, five times. Yeah. As, more, as much as possible. As much as possible. Yeah. When you let them out from the basket, must they come straight back to the loft 
before you take them to that next training point with the car? Uh, I like it when they are coming back and I see when I come at home, I see passing them yeah. and then they go away yeah. for an hour, uh, an half hour. Yeah, half an That's hour. Yeah. That's something okay. I like. That's something like so, so you let them go, you get home, you see them, yeah. and half an hour later they're, yeah. they're back on the loft. I don't you like call them, yeah. them immediately in the in loft. The loft. No, oh, no, no, no. Do you do it? When you put these young pigeons in the basket to take them training, will you do anything? Will you like uh, get them excited for the food before you take them away for the first training toss? Or do you just basket them, put them in I the car and drive them I just basket them. Away? I train them the first time, I train them uh, at the hour my mother let them out normally. Yeah. So she lets them out at three o'clock. I basket them at two o'clock and yeah. go to the place to let them out. And approximately three o'clock, yeah. I let them out. You think that's a good thing, yeah? That's take, a good thing, yeah. Take them training yeah. on the normal hour that you would yeah. lose them from the loft. And certainly the first times. Yeah, yeah. Then. So the birds are then put together. When is the first young pigeon race in Belgium then? Uh, 15th of May. 15th of May. Yeah. Will you compete in no. that flight? No. 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 I start only competing them uh, in the half of June. Half of June, yeah. So why don't you start at the 15th of May? Do you? Because I am not ready. You're not ready. Yeah. You've got to be ready, haven't you? Yeah. Because you're a winner. I am a winner. <laughs> I want to win. Uh, so my first race I did, that is the first... The, the years before, I didn't race on the short distance yeah. because uh, I have to clock them with the hand. With the hand, yeah. Now we can, this time, this year, we can use the electronic system. And now I play them also on the short distance. That's the only reason. And the first time um, I put them in a race, it was very warm. Uh, wind on the nose. Yeah. I won the first in the club. And my pigeon was also the first one, the fastest one of the 27,000 who were released in Noyon. In Noyon, so it yeah. Was and what's the distance, how many kilometers is uh, Noyon? 155. 155 kilometers. Yeah. So the f that's the first race. The first race for your pigeons yeah. is 155 kilometers. That's roughly 100 miles. Yeah. yeah. And how many training tosses with the car will you give them before this first race? Uh, eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight and then they the go club. with uh, the club. With the club, Several yeah. times, two, yeah. three, four times, yeah. and then they go to Noyo. Is that one day after another day, or is it? Uh, no. That, no. Uh, it's two times in a week. Two times a week. Yeah. When they've had the first race, and in between each race, are there any training uh, nope. tosses with the car? No nope. training. No training. As soon as they've had that first race. It's, it's over yeah. for driving with the car. Only I, uh, and it's only for 10 kilometers, I put them, I, I bring them uh, away with the car. Uh, those ones who don't fly in the weekend. Yeah. Who are on nest, who legs yeah. in air or something. Who, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the plane on the nest, how do you make these young pigeons fly? Because nest pigeons, you let them out. The first, especially young pigeons, the, what they want to do is come back into the loft. So yeah. do you have to force them to fly with the uh, flag? Or? No, no. I tried, now you see the small yeah. boxes here, I tried until the beginning of July that they aren't in nest. Yeah. They haven't anything. Yeah. Will you separate the sexes no. then? No. No, they are staying together. All together. But there isn't, there is, here and there is a couple on the ground. That's yeah. no problem. But most of them are not coupled then. When it becomes July, I put here and there some uh, boxes and yeah. things, and I uh, put more and more boxes. More and I more. don't put put them all together because then you have one couple who takes the whole area. Whole area, yeah. yeah so I I have quite a lot of work to make sure that this one is there, another one is there, another one is there. Uh, I don't want them on a nest before July because they aren't sure of themselves. Yeah, and they yeah have they've not got the confidence. The, yeah, and they have... A, They're not mature enough to bring yeah, the youngsters. Yeah, because you lose too many youngsters when they are on nest in the first flights. 
they are crazy for their new love, let's ah. say, their new home. Yeah. And when there is a race who goes a little dif difficult, difficult yeah. you lose too many of the couples, of the, of the ones who are in nest. Who are right. So that's the reason I don't want them to be on nest in, for the first young races. Yeah, you want the first, say, four races yeah. out of the way. Yeah. And then they, yeah. then you want them to have yeah. the nest. Yeah, these boxes. I mean, there's more boxes in here than you find in the back of a grocery store. You, yeah. <laughs> you put first. You put one box in. I understand yeah. that when they've taken the box, then you'll bring another box yeah. in. You don't put them all in on no. one go, no. because you could have a dominant pigeon yeah. take all the areas. Yeah. And then let's say then we are in the end of July. Most of them are coupled. Yeah. Now, in August, you don't find anyone here who isn't coupled. Really, yeah. So, at the end of July, you have the 400 kilometers flights, and then there are two nights in the basket. For the first flight from 400 kilometers, I put those pigeons who are on nest. Yeah. So, they are for two nights away. And then it's the time for the, the others who aren't coupled to pick up a, a place. A place, yeah. Sometimes, most of the time, they pick out a place where there is a, another one living. So the first night, I let them go into it. I let them take in the place. And the second day, of the, the, the first day they are away, yeah. the, the, the night, then the day, day yeah. then I um, close it off. Close it and put when there is someone here. I put here another. Yeah. And they are moving very easily to, to this the next one. Place, yeah. yeah. And when the others come home, I let them in again. And there is some rivality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put the next box yeah. close to the one yeah. that you wanted, and, and it creates a bit yeah. of rival rivalry. So they are the coupled pigeons, now. Yeah. All. Every pigeon is coupled. Yeah. yeah. And. The first young pigeon races is 155 kilometers. What distances will these young pigeons play on the races from? How far will they go? Uh, for, uh, they do the system 300, 500 kilometers. 300 kilometers, 500 kilometers each, each yeah. week. So one Saturday or Sunday with 300 kilometers, the following weeks 500 kilometers, then 300, kilometers. then 500. Yeah. That's the normal. That's thing. the normal, yeah. When I have one in a uh, very good position. I played him, him or she two times 500 kilometers. Two times 500 kilometers. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, they're going 300, 500. Will they go every Saturday? Yeah. 300, then 500, yeah. 300, 500. Yeah. Unless they uh, don't come back yeah. immediately. Yeah. Or they are. And coming how back many 300? How many flights will they have at this distance? And how many weekends will you play them? Uh, eight, nine, ten. Nine or ten, yeah, yeah, as many as that, yeah. You don't find it detriment because these pigeons, the hens, will then race again as old pigeons, yeah? yeah. It don't take too much out of the young no. pigeons. Because you have a theory about racing pigeons, don't you? You can only race a pigeon for two years. You can't race a pigeon as a young pigeon, a year in, two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old. No. No pigeons will race that. No. What's your theory for that, then? I, I think... You have to use your pigeons at the moment you want. Yeah. I want to use them as a youngster, yearling, two years. Yeah. And then it's finished. Yeah. 